How did it go tonight? It was wicked. Wicked, yeah. Responsive crowd. Very enjoyable. Good. Um, what's this new Bonkers album that's coming out? New Bonkers album. Um, it's got uh, the usuals on there, the usual suspects, which are obviously Hixie, Sharky and Scott Brown. And there's a fourth bonus CD, which is mixed by myself and Breeze. And um, yeah, it should be quite exciting because I've never mixed the Bonkers before, so uh, really looking forward to that. Anybody that you want to work with that you haven't already? Um, I'd like to work with Scott Brown actually, because he's about the only jock in the hardcore scene um, so far I haven't been able to work with. So I would really like to work with Scott. I think he's a wicked producer, and I reckon we could come up with something quite cool. You won Best Single last year at the Hardcore Heaven Awards. How did that feel for you? It felt wicked. I mean, it was unexpected because I don't even think that that was actually a nomination, but um, it was kind of out of the blue. But um, yeah, it felt really good. I mean, the, the record's been kind of big for us, so uh, it was How did cool. you actually get into the scene? What made you want to be a DJ? I used to be a raver uh, back in 92. Um, I was still at school then, a long time ago. And um, that's how I got into it. Just used to go to a club every weekend and um, I just fell in love with the music, just hardcore in general, just the, the, I just loved everything about it, the scene, everyone in it, the mu everything, and I just uh, never looked back from there really. Do you take time out to talk to your fans after an event? Do you ever wander through the crowd and take two hours to get somewhere or? My fans. Yeah, no, your I do fans? actually. No, I do. Of, of course I do, yeah. But, um, you know, they always want to ask you questions about making music and how do you get into it. So, you've, you know, because I remember doing exactly the same when I was when I was a raver and I'd go up to Slipmat and, and up to Dougal and then the next minute I'm playing alongside them and making records with them, so. It's nice because at the end of the day, you're their idols. So for you to be up there with them, at least you appreciate what they're yeah. feeling. I think. I think it benefits me because I, I know exactly how they feel because that's how I used to feel. I was so passionate, I was burning for it and they helped me. People like Slipmat and Dougal especially and Hixie helped me immensely so um, I know I know how you do need help to, to pull through in a scene like this or in any scene. Would you su just suggest to the up and coming like bedroom DJs if you like just to keep going, keep plugging, keep getting in the scene? Yeah because I mean I that's what I had to do. I, I sent tapes out to promoters up and down the country and you know it's upsetting when you don't get any response but if you want it that badly you've just got to keep going it's as simple as that and just after knockback after knockback you've got to do I mean I still get knockbacks nowadays if I send a track out and the record label don't want it and I think I think that it's good enough to get signed you know I'm you know everyone's gonna get knockbacks but if you want it that badly you just got to keep going yeah it's been lovely to talk to you thank you very much for your time no problem thank